this video. As you can see, it is our icon update for this month. Um, it's been a little while since we had something with this smaller batch that came in um, not too long ago, but this looks to be a much bigger batch. All right, so we are looking at the Attack of the Clones R2-D2. Um, now, we know this because the shipper quantity is 6 and the inner quantity is um, available at 1 to show that you can order 6, um, and then there's one individual figure um, in the carton. Alrighty, so we have R2, we have Wen Wu from Shang-Chi, we have um, the Venom from Venom 2, Carnage, um, I'll have to double check the Deluxe Carnage in a minute actually, because um, sometimes the regular updates and the Deluxe doesn't, or the Deluxe does and the regular doesn't. Uh, Cyborg, um, Iron Man Mark 1, the Quarter Scale Batman, um, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier Captain America, the regular Mandalorian Ahsoka, the Deluxe um, Mandalorian Ahsoka. So originally it was just the Deluxe one, and then the regular one updated this morning. Um, and then we have the possibility that the Clint Eastwood will be returning. Um, but this is just a placeholder uh, because we don't know. Um, just as an example, Purge Trooper is still showing that uh, shipper quantity 6. So is Wonder Woman for some very strange reason. Uh, so is the Battle Droid. And then our more recent figures like Wanda, Elena, the DeLorean, um, the Enforcer. So yeah, I haven't... Um, uh, tabbed up any of the super recent releases yet, but I will do that once I remove my tabs um, when they roll over to being in stock. So at the moment, um, it's just the fact that um, they will go in stock. When that is, we don't exactly know, but normally um, Icon only wait a few days, so I would be very surprised if they're not in stock by Monday, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I will just duplicate the R2 and we will do a quick search on that carnage. Uh, so basically the easiest way, yeah, so ship quantity 3. Um, at the moment the standard is coming in, uh, but not the deluxe. Um, now every once in a while they do miss something, so chances are it might come in. Um, the other thing was I was very surprised to see the R2 update. Um, because the last figure that had batteries, being the Mandalorian Luke Skywalker, um, there was a two-week gap between everything else rolling over and the R2 rolling over. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if we get the, the same delay on the R2, because I, I will be fairly annoyed if pop culture removed the 12 or so batteries that come with the figure, because uh, there's just no, no need to. But anyway, they did the Luke, so I can't see why this will be any different. Um, so yeah, just a waiting game at the moment. Uh, Pop Culture itself, I'll just show you, hasn't uh, updated anything. I checked about two minutes ago. But um, yeah, we'll probably see these figures in the Just Arrive section the next, say, week max maybe. Um, but again, it depends on how they're sorting, uh, how they're sending out invoicing and stuff like that. Uh, the other thing is, is normally I request my invoices um, in advance. Now, I got told last time that they're not going to be doing that anymore and that you're just going to have to uh, wait for the invoices to arrive. Uh, because we're looking at such a big batch, I am all for waiting this time around. Um, I personally have the Deluxe Ahsoka, uh, the R2. Um, Carnage, I really wasn't expecting Carnage this month, so that really adds up. Um, and then Cyborg, because if you order Cyborg and use the $50 off, um, it essentially comes to 20% off. Uh, and I thought, yeah, why not? Um, to get him for three ninety nine, I think it was. Um, but yes, we will see how it goes. Hopefully you appreciate the information, guys, and I will create another video once everything goes in stock. Um, I will also uh, put any um, extra screenshots underneath this video. 
uh, in the once I've posted it to the group um, if anything else updates. So if you do check these videos out and you actually aren't a part of our um, group, I would definitely look at uh, joining. Um, just follow the link that's in the description because basically from what I've noticed, we're one of the only groups that care about Australian retail at the moment. Um, yeah, one of the large groups that's recently collapsed uh, did not care about Australian retail. Um, and a lot of the other groups I've seen that originally um, were quite, had quite a lot of posts and stuff, just, just don't anymore. So if you want um, Australian retail updates and things like that, do keep an eye out for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated soon.